Hey, Sherry Bear, what's up? Um, kind of forgot about you there. I got that text on Saturday and then ran a seminar and had a bunch of texts and you just kind of got lost on me. So my apologies for not getting back to you sooner. Uh, I'm talking about your Achilles tendonitis, um, assuming that that's kind of cropping up a little bit similar. I think you had talked about kind of bunion surgery, um, you know, bottom of the foot issues that we were kind of working with and toe issues. So um, want to make sure that you are doing the right things throughout not only that uh, that site specific area but really through that entire posterior chain any type of plantar fasciitis any type of achilles tendonitis merging into the toe with bunion um, is going to be really an entire posterior chain issue so um, if we if we look at that just think hey if you're going to mash or you're going to roll or you're going to kind of open things up you're really going to have to focus on hamstring calf, soleus, Achilles, bottom of the foot, all of those things um, to work towards kind of uh, setting that system up so the Achilles isn't the thing to kind of wear out prematurely. Um, the things that you can do as far as ice, sure, go ahead and ice in the evenings or after a run or anything like that, but uh, just kind of relying on ice is definitely not going to be enough long term to get on the top of this. So things to strategize with ice are a lot of the things that we, we talked about in the past, both with your, your mashing through your foot, um, doing really good squats to align that... Uh, uh, that Achilles better by keeping your knees out. If your knees dive in, put a huge torque angle on that Achilles, which will really uh, be a problem. If you're walking and feel your kind of feet out, um, ankles diving down in, that's a huge torque angle on the uh, on the uh, Achilles as well. So think about those things. Now, as far as the um, um, correcting the issue um, using some more uh, exercise, here's some things that you can do. So what we're gonna do is hit more of our calf, but not necessarily always in a stretch. Some of this is learning how to kind of strengthen that whole complex. So one of the things we can do is go through some stretching. I'm gonna send you another link that shows exactly how to stretch front to back, side to side, and with rotation. But one of the things that we can do with this is really go up on the toe and slowly down to strengthen that tissue. By being able to go up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, like so. <laughs> That's something I would definitely add in with any of my mashes, with any of my stretches um, that I'm doing, any heat or ice in the evening to try and start rehabbing that tissue uh, in correlation with uh, the chair squats that we've taught in the, in the past to really start recalibrating not only the ankle itself, but the entire lower extremity. Um, work with those. If you have questions, I'm sure you'll have plenty um, based off of the quick information, the amount of words that I put out there. Um, but I'll send you some extra links that, that help that out. Good luck.